own a home or have plans to in the future? Or are you upside down in your mortgage and need help? Tune in right now to the Call Tony Real Estate Radio Show with Tony Patillo and her co-host Carla Dennis. This is where you come to learn about buying real estate. Here's Tony. Hello, Los Angelinos. I'm your host, Tony Patillo, and you're listening to Call Tony Real Estate Radio here on KTLK AM 1150. I'm here with my co-host, Carla D. Carla Dennis in the house. There are a lot of synergistic things that are happening here. As you know, I've been talking about these Terzian tables and the amazing uh, Carl Terzian, who's just a brilliant, brilliant mind. And, you know, Adam Scott is a product of the Terzian tables. And we had Betty Hiramatsu on the show. You remember yes, Betty? Yes, I remember Betty. She was a product of the Terzian table. And we have a guest coming in next week who, again, is a product of the Terzian table. Wow. So it's a huge, huge honor to have him with us today. Carl has been successfully providing public relation counsel to causes, corporations, individuals, and institutions for more than 44 years. Prior to establishing his own firm in 1969, Mr. Terzian served as an international goodwill ambassador for President Eisenhower, dean and professor of government and speech at Woodbury University, and public affairs director for architectural firm Charles Luckman Associates, one of the country's largest architectural firms and has held leadership positions in various other major institutions, Carla. He's been honored for civic and professional leadership by Congress, Her Majesty the Queen of England, California Assembly and Senate, City and County of Los Angeles, as well as numerous nonprofit organizations. Carl, we are so honored and privileged to have you on the show with us. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I've looked forward to it for some time, Tony. Can you tell us what was the inspiration behind this concept they call the Terzian Tables? So several years ago when we started the public relations firm, we thought if we could bring outstanding, influential people Mm -hmm. of all backgrounds together that good things would happen. Yeah. Uh, The concept of our tables is to bring people together from business, professions, nonprofit, and public service in a setting around uh, uh, the cocktail hour or lunch um, or a breakfast. Mm -hmm. We go around the table, we pass out uh, our cards, I introduce each one from memory, and each Mm -hmm. individual, instead of talking entirely about business, will talk the first part of their couple of minutes on what we call the front side of the card, which is how I make a living. Yeah. What we really stress is the back side of the card, which is you, mm. your education, your family, your nonprofit interests, your hobbies. And people around our table share very intimate parts of their life that you normally don't share with strangers. Mm-hmm. But the tables have a magic about them mm. that make people want to talk about things. So we go around the table, we pass out our cards, we enjoy a meal hosted by some prominent uh, client in the for-profit or non-profit area. We talk about ourselves. Mm-hmm. The key is once they leave the table, is to follow up and follow through with the people they met around the table. Mm -hmm. We started doing uh, three or four of these a month. We now, if you take all of the networking activities that we are involved in throughout the year, do 800 events a year. Mm. And the exciting thing is to hear the stories from people, to read the fan mail of how uh, the table, which we sometimes call a secular ministry, (laughs) <laughs> has literally impacted and affected the lives. Mm-hmm. And the idea is that if we get to know people and follow up and feel good about them, all the good things, serving on nonprofit boards, making interesting um, relationships, doing hundreds of millions of dollars of business a year. And let me add, mm-hmm. because we are a full say, uh, a service table, <laughs> we have just had our 36th marriage wow. of men and women who met each other around our table and followed up as Terzian <laughs> said they should. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I thought for a moment about the breakfast and I decided to turn right head home, Mm. and fight for my marriage. Wow. Wow. I can say that marriage is still intact. Wow. That makes um, our networking tables uh, worthwhile, even more than the business that does flow from getting to know one another and following up. 
getting approval for cancer drugs, decided at the last moment to change her plane uh, plan so that she could be home with her uh, children. Mm-hmm. She got on the plane. The plane crashed in the Pentagon on mm-hmm. 9-11. Wow. He tells us how all that happened and how it impacted uh, and the effect it had on our people who counted their blessings mm-hmm. when they listened to that story is one reason why we do these tables uh, hundreds of times a year. Is reviewing the cards you have and watering and planting that card like a seed where you give it the kind of maturing value so that it will grow like the investments that your guests talk about. Mm -hmm. But you have to have the mental attitude that no matter how impressive your resume, and I appreciated the introduction you gave me, it's really to a great extent, if you have conviction, if you have competency, if you have character, and you believe in yourself. And we want to remind you that we're here every Saturday at 3 p.m. on Call Tony Real Estate Radio on KTLK AM 1150, where we're committed to bringing you tools for positive change. If you tuned in late and you'd like to go back and listen to the full show, please go to calltony.com. That's calltony with an I dot com and click on the previous show's link. You can always call us on our off air number. That's 888-309-9797. That's 888-309-9797. We want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and friend us on Facebook. And as always, we want you to have a magical, magical weekend. Thanks for tuning in.